Hey everyone. So you guys know I'm a big fan of the ballpoint pen. It's cheap, it's versatile, and it's not only super effective for creating stunning artwork, but it's also invaluable for sketching. And we all know sketching is an essential part of drawing. So in this video, I'll share with you three reasons the ballpoint pen can really help you uh, to practice, improve, and really enjoy sketching. And again, uh, just sharing that my pen and ink drawing workbook is now available on Amazon and other online retailers. Um, you know, a big thanks to everyone who supported them so far. Thank you. Now, sketching with pencil is great, of course, because you can easily erase your mistakes as well as, you know, draw lightly and gradually develop your drawing. Now, while the marks of a ballpoint pen may not necessarily be erasable, you know, when they're bold, you can certainly sketch lightly, which is cool. It's not something you can necessarily do with other ink drawing instruments. Plus, it's also an excellent way to practice varying your line weight. So you can lightly work out proportions, lay down construction lines, markers, and other preparatory information. And this helps to prevent mistakes later on and allows you to work out problem areas like in composition and so on before decisively pushing your drawing forward. And an important part of drawing is controlling the pressure you've put on the drawing instruments. Many times I see students find this a, a, a challenge because their their lines are often too bold too soon and for some reason it's hard for them to prevent that from from happening now in sketching uh, or the beginning of a drawing you should always draw as light as you can as you're doing mainly exploring you know and feeling things out you're you're, you're going for uh, trying to capture the overall feel of things and you're not necessarily trying to define or create any details as yet so the more you are sure of the forms, the more bold your lines become. And ballpoint pens allows you to practice this very well. Now, as I mentioned in my video uh, on the, uh, the seven L's of gesture drawing, being loose is an important part of sketching. Actually, it's an important part of drawing, you know, because in the early stages of a drawing, you're not concerned so much with accuracy or being precise. Um, in how you define forms, you know, you're going more for a feeling or an expression, a gesture, you know, you're capturing the essence of the subject and not just, you know, and really just focus on loosely gathering your information about the subject. You're, you're really just studying and, and getting a feel for things. You know, this is something I also address in a, in a future um, video on sketching. Now, the very nature of a ballpoint pen, having a, a ball as it, as, it, as its point, you know, it facilitates smooth and almost effortless movement you know and this makes it perfect for loose free flowing and gesture like sketching it it encourages you to draw loose and and with speed other ink drawing instruments often call for you to slow down and pay more careful attention to details and the quality of your lines but with a ballpoint pen you can naturally you actually you naturally feel like you want to be loose and gestural and just maintain a continuous a fluid motion and this is perhaps most likely because it's designed to be a writing instrument you know and combined this combining uh, drawing loose with being able to draw light you know this allows you to restate you can go over a line several times until you're actually certain or confident and ready to make your lines bold just like with a pencil, I love the fact that with a ballpoint pen, we can create a light sketch and then build on it and develop it to a finished drawing if we choose. You see, so if you want, you can start with a light line drawing where, you know, you just map things out and then progressively build on top of that. So this enables us to control the pace and progress of our drawing in, in several ways. You know, for example, um, we can develop our drawing in terms of structure. So you're going from loose and, uh, um, you know, not in general, not necessarily defining anything, defining anything. And then eventually you can make your lines or your drawing more tight and more clearly defined, you know, as well as you can even develop your drawing in terms of value where you're going from uh, a light um, and limited value range, you know, and then eventually you get more deep with your values and expand your value range. And even in terms of uh, details and proportion, where we start out, you know, roughing out where things are going to be placed, you know, until we get more specific 
and then start putting things in their respective places. So I believe the ballpoint pen provides a really unique balance of properties that allows us a bit of leverage, like we get with a pencil, while on the other hand, it still challenges us because we're still in fact drawing with a pen. So in the end, it pushes us forward, you know, with mistakes and all, and helps us to understand and appreciate that progress is more important than perfection. The, the whole tendency to stay and make sure things are right and so on, that's taken from you. So you have to learn how to move forward. And that's important for a lot of us. In drawing, a lot of times the progress is more important than perfection. You know, it's important that we learn how to move forward, to just keep going and not stay and delay and procrastinate. All right. So while the ballpoint pen is an ink drawing instrument, it still allows you to make really light lines that you can use to flesh things out or do gesture drawings or quick sketches. And you can choose to build on it later on if you choose to by just making your lines bolder and bolder. Now, this is really cool because it also helps you to uh, be OK with making mistakes and moving on, even though you still have some room to do some light work. So I feel that that balance makes a ballpoint pen a really unique instrument and I use it all the time for this reason. Okay everyone, so I hope you found something you liked in this video and if you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, all right? And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel or follow me on Instagram, remember to do so so you won't miss any new uploads or announcements. And as usual, thanks for watching, keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.